Welcome to your market update and charts of the day for today, Thursday, the 13th of June. We hope you're well. And it's Mike Smith, at Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, the major headline act overnight was the combination of US CPI data and then the subsequent FOMC rate decision and press conference by Fed Chair Jerome Powell. Uh, that CPI was better than expected, high softer, and we saw the S&P, the Nasdaq, and the Russell all look strong. The Dow was a little soft, I think it's been slightly in the red. Uh, the press conference subsequently turned things around a little bit, particularly in the USD and commodities, although equity markets held well. Uh, the Fed projected one rate quit in 2024, which I think the market had already priced in to some degree, but to actually hear it was perhaps a little perturbing on a little strengthening for the USD, uh, and suggestion of four potentially in 2025. Uh, of course, they did pause last night. US futures are mixed in early Asian trade, and the, the NASDAQ is outperforming at this stage. Asian equity markets generally higher, uh, but not uh, pulling up trees. The ASX is down from early highs. It's around about 0.5% to the upside in early trading. It was up around about 0.8% uh, subsequent to open. Uh, European futures point to a flat open this afternoon at this stage. Uh, the US dollar index closed weaker, not surprisingly, but paired the losses towards the end of the session. Really, once the Fed chair began to speak at his press conference, we saw some retracement of the early losses in the USD, and consequently, we saw commodities pull off their highs a little bit. The US dollar continues to be slightly positive in Asia, which is interesting. And gold move higher, but gives up highs after that press conference, as I've said. Copper ended up near neutral and continues in a short-term range. And all really has held steady with no movement since Monday's price spike. So expecting the US dollar to sell off significantly was essentially curtailed by Fed projections. Bitcoin edged higher, sitting mid-range between 66 and 70,000. Those two key price levels we've been talking about now for some time. On the data front, we've already had Australian jobs out, which is slightly warmer than expected. That's not likely to be good news for those who are expecting the RBA to take action themselves on rate cutting. Later on, we've got Eurozone industrial production, and then this evening, US PPI, which is also going to be an important number. We need to see some follow through from the CPI in the PPI number and weekly jobs. Tomorrow's noteworthy from the point of view of its Bank of Japan day with the rate decision, but also that press conference in the afternoon, both noteworthy. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. WGX look interesting in the gold space. We did have a spike up in early doors to around about this 250, though we've come off those highs. This is becoming an increasingly interesting level for WGX. Uh, should we get a breach of that, then quite conceivably, we could see a move back up to around about 275, around about 8.5% from that 250 level uh, so one worth keeping an eye on doesn't look as though it's going to have the legs today but may be worth a look tomorrow subsequent to that data overnight in the us in the fx world we think the swiss yen looks interesting uh, we seem stuck at this stage around about this 175 40 level but you can see it was important a couple of days ago where the high close uh, of any of the candles on the hourly chart was 175.41 so we could see a move higher uh, through that level and if we do then you can see the last time this happened we shot up to 175.90 and we could repeat that very little in terms of resistance to stop it going to that distance if it gets some momentum then maybe a pause around about 175.70 but that's one worth keeping on your radar over the course of the day for a potential breach of 175.42. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.